Have you been asking yourself, what's my life's purpose? And maybe you've driven yourself crazy trying to figure out what to do, what goal to accomplish, to begin living your purpose. And in the end, you just can't seem to find that perfect answer, and it leaves you feeling lost and confused. Trip Lanier, men's coach and host of the New Man podcast, tackles this problem in his article, Did David Dida Screw Up Mission and Purpose? He first states that purpose is why we do everything. It's why we cure cancer, go surfing, have children, and join the circus. Tripp talks about having a small self and a big self. The small self is rooted in fear and whose purpose may be to stay safe or avoid being alone or prove that you're good enough. The small self's purpose, or why it does what it does, is to feel safe and in control. On the other hand, he says the big self's purpose, or why, is to experience deep joy, happiness, love, and connection. Good, good feelings. And this good that the big self feels is more aligned with God, whatever you want to call that which is bigger than us, but includes us. Tripp then says your purpose is to experience a feeling, these good, good feelings of deep love, joy, and connection, and not to accomplish a certain goal. It's not about doing something. Take a second and think about that. Okay. He says this good feeling tells us we've hit the bullseye and allows us to know we have hit the mark. From this standpoint, we can begin to see which actions, relationships, or endeavors are helping us experience this good feeling, and we can consciously let go of the goals, behaviors, and choices that don't. Tripp says it's essential to know your unique talents and gifts, or strengths, that connect you with the good feeling those things that give you deep pleasure. Your strengths then can become part of your mission. Your mission is the formula you follow to experience the good feeling. Tripp says our purpose to experience this good feeling is always going to be there. It's the basis for all that we do, but how we get there, the mission, can and will change over time. Here is a way to look at it. There is a cat named Missy, and she wants to be turned on to deep love, connection, joy. She feels this when she is pet. The petting turns Missy on, or mission, to love, connection, and joy. And what does she begin to do as a result of this mission? Purr. She becomes a purring puss, or a purr puss. Her purpose is fulfilled. To get pet was her mission, and her purpose is the good feeling of being loved and connected. How she feels her purpose can change. She may find that her owner doesn't rub her the right way anymore, so she goes to the couch or maybe to the local house rat to get pet. She has found her purpose stays the same, but her mission, or how she feels her purpose, can change over time. The same happens with you. To read the whole article and to follow up on this video with a great exercise on how to create a mission statement, go to this address or click on the link directly below this video. And check out over 100 podcasts on how to live a kick-ass life at the newmanpodcast.com. And also check out Trip's coaching at triplinear.com. I can't recommend it highly enough. If you want a unique video like this made for your idea or book, write me at nick at nicknevada.com.